we have the function g of x is equal to the square root of 9 minus x. We are going to use the definition of derivative to find the derivative, and then we'll find the domains of the function and also its derivative. So here we go. Firstly, though, let's see. To find the domain of a square root function, we look at the inside and make sure that the inside is greater than or equal to 0. So I will just put down 9 minus x has to be greater than or equal to 0. That's the restriction. Now we can just move the 9 to the other side. So we have negative x is greater than or equal to negative 9. Divide both sides by negative 1. So we see that x is less than or equal to positive 9. Make sure you flip the inequality symbol. right? So this is the computation that you can do. I will erase this because otherwise I will be running out of space. So the domain is negative infinity to positive 9, including the positive 9. Now, derivative time, so g prime of x, is the limit as h approaching 0. And then we have g of x plus h, and then minus g of x, and then divided by h. For this part, we'll just put the x plus h into here. So we are getting the limit as h approaching infinity. And then we have the square root of 9 minus parentheses x plus h. And then minus g of x, which is just the original. So just go ahead and do this, and then all over h. Now, we have a square root situation. So what do we do? The count you get. Yes. So I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by square root of this 9 minus the parentheses x plus h by in the middle we change that to a plus the second part stays the same as well and then of course we do the same thing on the bottom so we have the square root of 9 minus x plus h and then plus square root of 9 minus h to continue we're just going to multiply out the top and to do that, it's not bad at all. But we'll still write down the limit as h approaching 0. For the top, when you multiply the conjugates, just take this and square that. So we just have this thing, right? So let me just also distribute the negative now. We will have 9 minus x and then minus h. So keep that in mind. And then we are going to have the minus. So this is the minus from the middle. And then the second thing is this thing squared, which is just 9 minus x. And then for the bottom, just leave it. We are going to have that. So h times the square root, 9 minus x plus h. So I'll just keep it as minus x and then minus h like this, and then plus square root of 9 minus x. You don't need the parentheses for that. This is OK. Now we see. 9 minus 9, right? This is technically a minus 9. They will cancel and then distribute. We get a plus x, but this is minus x, so this and that cancel. And also, we see that we have negative h on the top now over h times all that. So this h can be canceled with that h. So finally, we just have a negative 1 on the top. And now put a 0 into the h's, just one of them actually, so 1 h. So here we have square root of 9 minus x minus 0 and then plus another one. But this is just square root of 9 minus x. And well, two of them. So all together. So that's the derivative. And what's the domain though? Well, we will still have to worry about the inside being greater than we could 0, right? So this right here, we still have to put down 9 minus x has to be greater than or equal to 0 because we have that inside of the square root. However, we cannot have the square root. We cannot have the bottom to end up with 0. Otherwise, you know, it's undefined. So in this case, unfortunately, we have to lose that 0. So in this case, we can just solve it real quick. Um, I like to keep the inequality like this and just move the 9 and then divide both sides by negative 1 so x is less than just less than now, 9. So no more equality. So the domain is just from negative infinity to positive 9. Right? We do not have that bracket anymore. This is it.